Oh my god, that really does. Hey guys, um, really, really imperative, kind of serious message here, but that's okay because we're in serious times, honestly. But why are we waiting till November for a vote? I'm saying don't vote. I'm not saying that it maybe isn't even important. It is. But it's man-made. Paper ballots. Guys, face it. This election is probably going to be, honestly, a mockery. Look at it now. I could, you know, go back to Al Gore and George Bush. You know, don't you think he thought that was rigged too, probably? And that was a Democratic versus Republic. That, that's a mess, guys. It all, all that's become idolized. And my whole point is... The government rests upon his shoulders. And it's not who we're going to vote for. It's who we're going to pray for. And who we're going to connect with. That would be Jesus. That would be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word. And if you're not connected there, honestly, your vote doesn't matter. Look around, it doesn't matter. It's people that hate us. As Christians right now, they st stupidity has hit the land. Honestly, people are saying, oh, "Don't shop my store if you voted for Trump," or vice versa. You know, I mean, I hear from you hear from everywhere. It's like, man, guys, get over yourselves. But the real, real just of the matter and the point, because I'm a watchman ministered the gospel is Jesus. Here's a couple scriptures for you. Isaiah 9, 5 through 7, and Matthew 21, 42 through 45. Wonderful counselor, prince of peace. He'll burn with fuel of fire. Read it. That'd be Jesus. The stone that the builder rejected became the chief cornerstone, but it also says if we don't fall in this word, it's gonna it's gonna break us. If we don't, it's gonna crush us. That's what this storm is about, guys. It's already hit. It did start on eight eleven, honestly, because of you know, look what happened, the very first shot across the bow of the evilness that's going on. It's just, it's just there, guys. It's just downright. Look around, guys. Everything's just kind of blown up. But it was already there. It was underlying currents and stuff. And we just, you know, as a church, ignored it. So why are we waiting for a man-made election that may or may not transpire, honestly? And if it does, it's going to be, but everybody's going to say it was a sham, really, from every direction, whether you're a Trump supporter or a Biden supporter, Biden supporter. Everybody's going to say it. there's something wrong with it. They bark about that for years, sometimes, about all of you know, and some of it I get, some of it is devious. And some of it is just probably really hard to manage, honestly. Very, very hard and difficult to manage. And to keep clean. I mean, there's some people that really try to, and there's some people that really try really hard to, to do the voter suppression and do the, all the other underhanded stuff. So, why are we waiting? When we've got, this is what the Lord told me, and I, and I wondered why, for off and on, but a couple of years ago, it was like, walk, he told me, walk with one as authority. And then about six months ago, he spoke to me in, in, in a dream and in my early morning prayer, and he said, why are you waiting on me? I'm waiting on you. God that created heaven and earth, God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and his word are waiting on us, the church, 
to arise and shine and do something. So why are we going to wait? Burrup. I, I, I'm probably, I'm, it doesn't matter. If I lose friends, get friends, whatever. For a stupid election, man-made election. And I put out a message, God, look it up. Time is holy even in politics. So I get it. We need to pray for these people. Yes, of course, absolutely. We want good godly leaders because that, that's scriptural too. If a righteous are in authority, the city will rejoice. And when the wicked are, the city mourns. Look what we've got. 40 years, death and destruction with the abortion. And now it's a sexually deviant. That's the cool thing, you know. Look around. Why? Because the enemy wanted to take something that was made for creation of life and taint it and make it dirty. It's after God's image, which would be you and me. Whatever color you are, whatever gender you are, whatever shape, form, size you got come in, baby or an adult. Guys, why are we waiting? Who are we waiting on? Really? I got caught up in that too, guys. I get it, okay? I understand it. And this, that's why this social media garbage is a wizard. It's like witchcraft, honestly. We have to be very, very careful. That was one of my messages about the blood of the lamb on the doorpost of our heart to guard our heart from this trash that is infected, infested, and is out to steal, kill, and destroy the world. And us too, if we get it in us. So are we in or are we out? Are we the church or are we not? Are we the body of Christ or are we not? Because there's no more in between, guys. None, uh, no more. It's not happening. Pretty much, didn't this coronavirus mess make that pretty apparent? The light switch got flipped off. Well, let me kind of correct this old message because some people have kind of mistook it a little bit, but about one virus took out the church. Well, 90%, 95, it was a very high percentage, most of it. I didn't say all of it, I said most of it. But we all have, there's plenty of room to repent in there. And that's the grace and mercy of God. That we still have an opportunity to repent. It is 2020 is decision time. It's make your elections call, make your elections calling. Okay, guys, not the, not the presidential election, your election to God, to listen to his voice, to the Jesus, to the Holy Ghost, to his word. Not all this surreal stuff. Where has it gotten us? But everybody mad at everybody. Pretty much, really, seriously. And I get it, there's a lot of demonic activity going on, but we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But against principalities, power and spiritual wickedness in high places. And yes, the devil, just like God's using people, the devil uses people. Some are actually terrors too, honestly, I get that. We have to take a stand as a church, but that stand is not going to be to stand up and shout and scream at everybody and be louder than and sing a better, better song or whatever, sing louder than. None of that. Preach louder than. It may not even be a voluminous thing. It's going to be one in the prayer room, guys. Maybe even in your secret place. That's why the 5 a.m. prayer is so, so, so vitally important because there's going to be no one there but you and God. But if he sees us doing that as a nation and we all get together, suddenly there's millions praying for the same thing. Guess what? 120 people changed the world. Jesus changed the world as one. 120 on the day of Pentecost. Because they were on one accord and they got in one room and they... Became one. Oh, don't tell me that's not important. It's, I'm telling you it's important, guys. Not because of me. It's because of him. So see you there tomorrow. Let's get up.
Let's do something. Let's change this equation. We've got the power and the authority of heaven behind us. Prophet Elijah's and people were like, man, you know, look to the hills. It's full of angels. We've got the heavenly house on our side. So why are we worried about a handful of Supreme Court judges that won't let us seem to do anything? You know, we vote craziness. We get our mind all twisted up. And that's what the devil wants. I'm going to end with this. It's like this little game I play with my grandkids. I said that on another message. I hold up my hand here. Look, let's see this. And I look. And I go, I go with the other hand. And I pop them in the back of the head. You didn't see that coming, did you? Devil's doing to us. You didn't see that coming, did you? Did anybody see this coronavirus mess or all this other stuff or think that we couldn't even go to church? But you can do anything else. You can go to bars. You can go to, to all, all shopping and do whatever you want. You, know, you can't go to church. Man, guys, this is getting really, really serious. Okay, I'm going to end with this. This is natural, but I'm just going to spit this out. Driving along today, past couple weeks, about a third of the traffic, guys. Pulled into a shopping center. I'm in a big city in Dallas. Big city. In the city. Pulled in to turn, make a U-turn in the shopping center. It's pretty much empty in the, during the day. When there should be at least, you know, there should have been at least 50, 100 cars in there. I saw maybe 20. And those might have just been the people that work there, the few that worked. Think this is coming back? Nope. Not unless we get this right. With him. I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm not talking about Nancy Pelosi or any of those messy Marvin people. Honestly. I'm not talking about a people move, not even a movement. I'm talking about an outpouring of the Spirit, of the Holy Ghost, and His Word, and the blood of the Lamb. Love you guys. Um, just love you. And I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., early in the morning. I may not see you, but God will, Jesus will, Holy Ghost will. Turn off your phones. Don't pick up your YouTube. Don't check your Facebook, your Instagram, your messages. Just don't. Can you can you can we swing that and lay down this technology? Because guys, I'm telling you that it is wizardry and it's witchcraft and sorcery involved in it on a very large scale. So yeah, I'm still having to use it, and I don't like it any. And I've got to really break through some of this. Um, right now, I'm at the point of praying, well, God, am I even supposed to be doing this? Pray for me. I'm going to pray for you. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.